Hello everybody and welcome to the VMware Tanzu RabbitMQ for Kubernetes GA video. I'm Yaron Parasol, Product Manager of uh, Tanzu RabbitMQ for Kubernetes. Hello everybody, uh, I'm Trini, I'm an engineer in the team. So what is Tanzu RabbitMQ for Kubernetes? Tanzu RabbitMQ for Kubernetes is a control plane for multi RabbitMQ deployments on multi-cloud locations. Let's start with understanding what a RabbitMQ cluster deployment on Kubernetes looks like. It has many different components that you need to create and then maintain. To deploy all of that manually takes many commands and day two operations where you want to do a rolling update of those nodes or you want to change a configuration. That will require not just many kubectl commands but also RabbitMQ commands. In order to bring all of that together, save human error, and enable everything to be self-service through automation, we have created the operator. So now um, I will quickly show how to create the RabbitMQ for Kubernetes operator and um, how to use the operator to get yourself a RabbitMQ cluster. So what we are looking at here is the Tanzu RabbitMQ for Kubernetes a release artifact that you can uh, that you can get from TanzuNet, and uh, this is what we are going to use to create the operator itself. Yeah, so as you can see, um, the operator is already created here. So that means that we're ready to create a simple um, Revenant queue cluster. So this is going to be the manifest that I'll be using. This is going to be a single, a single node Revenant queue cluster, and then the pod is coming up right now. And uh, by the way, uh, the product also include a uh, kubectl CLI plugin that can help you to interact with the operator um, and um, have a lot of um, easy command that you can use to interact with the Raven queue cluster as well. So for example, I can use the CLI to do a list and this is going to show me all the Raven queue cluster that's created uh, in this namespace. Um, the product also comes with a Grafana and Prometheus integration. And um, I happen to set up Grafana and uh, Grafi uh, and Prometheus integration in this cluster, so we can take a look of the dashboard there. Yes, as you, and as you can see, this is the Hello World example that we have just created, and um, the version of Ravening queue we're deploying in this cluster is three eight nine, and um, this is a single node Ravening queue cluster, so you just see one pod in here. Nice. Um, so why don't we try to scale up the cluster to a HA3 node cluster? So you can do that by simply changing the replica count in the uh, in the manifest. So now I'm going to change from one to three. Yeah, so um, it will create the two additional pods one by one. So you see that the second pod is trying to come up. And uh, by the way, everything I'm showing uh, showing here today is in our quick start guide that is in the RabbitMQ.com. The quick start guide has some more uh, has some more instructions about how to tell the log and how to access uh, certain things with the with the RabbitMQ cluster. And I highly recommend you all to check that out. The operator also comes with a list of examples. Uh, that has uh, common use cases, uh, including an example that's about um, how to create a wrapping queue cluster that has production ready um, setup. And um, together with a quick start guide, this will be a good way uh, for you to check out to, uh, to see which of the example can help you to build your own use case. Now we can see that all the pods are successfully created. Why don't we take a look at our Grafana dashboard once again? Now we can see those two new created pods and um, they have joined the same cluster. The operator also supports in place rolling upgrades for the wrapping queue cluster uh, that it manages. So now why don't we uh, why don't we take a look at that? You can upgrade your wrapping queue cluster by simply changing the version of wrapping queue uh, that um, that is deployed in the cluster. So as you can see, uh, the version right now we're using is uh, 389. 
I'm going to change the version from 389 to 3810. And um, that's it. That's going to trigger the in-place rolling upgrade for this particular cluster. By rolling upgrade, I mean that uh, each of the routing two nodes, here there's, uh, there's three nodes in this cluster, will be upgraded one by one. This is not going to um, stop serving traffic because at each time there would be uh, at least two other nodes that are not being, uh, being updated. Um, so there's going to be no interruption for your traffic. So as you can see, it's currently updating uh, the node number two. And we can see this being reflected in our Grafana dashboard as well. Yeah, so the node that has just been updated now has a uh, now has version 3.8.10 showing up in here. Thank you for the demo. The cluster operator is just the first component we release. Next in line is the messaging topology operator. This operator will allow you to create any messaging topology on RabbitMQ using the Kubernetes API. We plan to release more components this year. So stay tuned, follow us, and give us feedback. Thank you.